Dan Garcia. And I'm going to show you now how to put a tremolo piece together. Okay, like we said, tremolo is a technique that's meant to keep a melody afloat. And this way we can manage the melody. We can do crescendos, we can breathe, we can do certain things. Without the tremolo, when we play a note, that note, we can still hear it in our memory, but it's pretty much gone. There's not much we can do with it. Okay? So I'm going to create a melodic line, and then we're going to turn it into tremolo. And maybe you can do the same thing at home with any kind of melodic line you have. Melodies that uh, work well with tremolo are usually melodies that move in a slow rhythm. Okay? If your melody moves faster than a quarter note, it's probably not a good idea to put tremolo on it. But if you have like half notes and quarter notes, tremolo might be a good option. Okay, so let me just play a little melody and then we'll turn it into a tremolo piece. It's going to be in three, so one, two, three. So let's imagine I came up with this nice melody, and now I want to turn it into a tremolo piece. As you can see, when I went up here, and I was holding this note for six beats, by the time I got to beat four, the note is completely gone, and there's nothing I can do about it, other than play it again, of course. Okay, first thing we need to do is find a harmony for this melody. I'm just going to do a simple one, four, five uh, chord progression in A minor. So I'm going to do A minor. When I get up here, I'm going to play a D minor chord, and then an E7, two, three, E7, and back to A minor. So the next step to get our tremolo going is to figure out the bass line we're going to play. Okay, we have our melody, we have our harmony, now let's figure out our bass line. The bass is going to outline the harmony we just did. So A minor. Okay, that's what my bass is going to do. Okay, I'm playing the low A, A an octave higher, and my minor third, which is C. So I'm going to move up here to D minor, I'm play root, third, and fifth, twice, because I'm holding on there for six beats. Then E7, I'm playing my root, my fifth here, my B on the fourth string, flat nine. Okay, so one. Then root again, fifth again, our seventh, and then back to A minor. Okay, so let's put everything together now. We have our melody over our harmony. Two, three, one, two, three. Two, three, one, two. So now, for every bass note, I'm going to put four notes on the melody. Okay, so very slow. So now we have this melody turned into a tremolo. And let me play it a little faster now. Now I'm going to play it three different ways. First I'm going to play it slow so you can see it. Then I'm going to play it a little faster. Then I'm going to play it faster. And then I'm going to play it as I would play it in a performance. Meaning I'm going to breathe here and there. I'm going to maybe do a little crescendo. You know, I'm going to make it very lyrical and very beautiful. Because that's really the purpose of tremolo. We don't want it to sound too robotic. So here we go. Slow.
little faster. Fun playing tremolo. <laughs>